The latest on Alexei Navalny and where he has been sent, Bill. Yes, so uh, if you remember on Thursday, his lawyer turned up at the detention facility in Moscow to find that Alexei Navalny was not there. Uh, and in a, a situation rather like under the Soviet Union and the Gulag system, he has simply disappeared for the last few days. It would appear, although there's no official confirmation from the Russian prison service, that he is now in a penal colony east of Moscow, well known for being one of the toughest penal colonies of the 700 or so in that country. And it's deliberately designed for prisoners who the authorities want to isolate and cut off. Uh, so, for example, it's not even part of the Russian uh, prison mail system. So Alexei Navalny will spend at least uh, two years, two and a half years there. And I've been speaking to the last probably very high-profile person, opponent of Putin's, who was jailed. That's Mikhail Khodorkovsky, used to be Russia's richest man, former oil tycoon, spent 10 years in a Siberian prison. And he has told me a number of things. He says, for example, uh, Navalny could be there for much longer than his official sentence, as he was, because Vladimir Putin simply controls the courts and he can keep him there for as long as he likes. And he had, number one, some very harsh words to say about Vladimir Putin, uh, calling him a mafia boss. Secondly, going very close to calling for Russians to overthrow Putin in a revolution. Just listen to what he says, first of all, about Vladimir Putin. Является тоталитарным руководителем. You could say that he is a totalitarian ruler who is not identifying his interests with the interests of his country. His interests are the interests of the mafia group who he represents and who support him. He is a godfather. So in fact, as I said, his interests are not Russia's interests. If people are, are not ready to use force, they cannot hope for the change of the regime. And again, if they want to change the regime, they should be prepared to go the whole way. They should be prepared to use force. Prepared to use force. Very dangerous words there. An advice to Joe Biden not to treat Putin like an ordinary leader. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.